What's going on, everybody? You're back with Shades, and we're going to continue our let's play of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Last time we left off, we came here, and the door is locked, but I know we had to go in there. The trailer door. It's locked. The key is probably in the security guard station. I doubt they'd let us borrow it. Huh. Oops, no. Well, move. Yes, yes, yes. I want to move. So, I need to figure out a way to get a uh, little Miss Intern away from the guard station. Because I want to go in there. Talk. I do something. Nope, did all that already. Okay, talk to this. Peter that runs here. Uh huh? Looks like it's been turned off for the day. Security guard station. I can see this computer. No, 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 no. Please don't touch anything in the security lady. Maybe next time. Maybe next time? What's next time? What do we gotta do then? Let's just, like, go to every area and see what we can do. Because, like, it always freaks me out when this game is like, what am I doing? Who did I go to? What happened? Attorney badge, card key, topsy report, the spear, guide map. Ugh, what am I doing? I might have to look up a walkthrough again just to quickly be like, what the fuck am I doing? Hold on, move. I know if you go to the offices, like, someone, like, like, Maya will give you a hint. What to do? What do you think we should do? What do I, huh? Why don't we do what you just said? We gotta get the scoop on this director and the producer. Alright, then there's no point hanging out here. That's what I've been saying! Let's get to the studios pronto. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna go to Studio 2. Yeah. Uh, move. The studio 1. Examine. Can't do it. Do it. Studio mascot. Apparently it's monkeys. It's a monkey. It's like, I've never seen a monkey. I was like that before. Um, why don't they put his head back on? Maybe we should ask the assistant. I'm not sure we really want her fixing anything. And you probably need a crane to move that thing. Probably so. How, how do I do the thing? Oh, outside studio two. Oh wait, no, the, I forgot, like... freaking uh, fucking uh... Things are happening. Examine. A light fan for moving stuff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd be run fine. Let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license. But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? <laughs> Adorable. Okay, so they're in Studio 2, but the door is locked. These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. I obviously have to go to Studio 2, but what am I doing here? This is all I can... Uh, all I can frickin' uh, examine. I don't know what I'm supposed to do! Guys, what do I do? I did it! I did it! Looked at the walker. Apparently, you just have to go to the frickin' dressing room in the employee area. I'm dumb. I, 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 I completely missed the mark. I'm sorry. Thank God I didn't waste that much time figuring it out. The f WTF? Who are you dudes, LMAO? The fuck? Uh, huh? We. Wait, you first! Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lame. Lamers? Who uses that terminology? How can you not know the great Sal Manella? I forget that all the names are puns. I make delete shows with Steel Samurai, my RFTC. Read the film credits. Is this? He sounds like an internet commenter or like a stupid gamer or something like that. Really? You're the Sal Manella? I'm so sorry. I just- you- you look so- sorry. No, no, quite alright, really. It's fine, Rawful. I hate the fact that he says that out loud. What is it? 
you know, on closer inspection. Mm, yeah. Ew! Hey, did you do a lot of cosplay? Cause you, cause that costume, Roxers? Ew. Roxors? What? Hey, you're drooling. Huh? Mm -hmm. Lol. Buffer overrun. <laughs> Ew! I don't want to act for this character. Disgusting. You've cr triggered my creative powers. Yes. Yes, it's coming to me. Pink princess. The sequel to the Seal Samurai. Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. Raffle Lamau. This is terrible. P Pink Princess? Why is it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't I have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. I'm so uncomfortable with this character. <laughs> He seems like a giant, like, otaku nerd that literally just needs to get out more, and, or they just gave him a budget. He, he's an otaku nerd that, gave, that was given a budget and just never grew up. Help. <laughs> and also, the music is really loud today. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I, I know who Jew dudes are. That security told you about us, huh? Eh? That, that's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. Why is he yiffing? Abby? <laughs> I got so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. A T bone steak, was it? Yeah, suck sewers. I hate pissing out on the food. That face makes me so uncomfortable. Nick, what does suck sewers mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after four with the producer and some big wigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. About the producer, who was at the meeting with you? Oh, you mean Dee Vasquez? She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. Scary, though. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. Who exactly are these bigwig people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over the network and some sponsors, also a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. <laughs> we were all were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers. <laughs> Hmm, sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. Can I present you with anything? This is WP, right? How do you know? Well, look, he's obviously dragging his foot. Oh, right. The director would know about the injury he was there. I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me. Okay, never mind. Why are you staring at me like that? Stay away from that girl. You fucking creepo. I'm gonna punch your fucking lights out. Okay, never mind. Is she crying when she has that face on? Okay, I talked to him already. I already examined the room, so I don't know what else to do. Is he gonna move? To the employee area again. Uh, let's just go to the studio main gate and see if, uh... Ah! Aha! You again! You again! Eek! How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost! You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this, Whippersnapper. This net little old lady never forgets a slight or insult, and you won't get information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Mm. This lady's too much. She's not going to say anything. Um, about that kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. 
above the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick, I think she's losing it. Well then, that's weird. What if I look at the guard station? The security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Hey, no touching! Guess I'd better investigate this later. Well. Let's see, if I go inside Studio One, will uh, Penny be there? Never mind. Let's go to Studio Two. Because things have changed. Is the door still locked? Yep. Don't think they'll be borrowing. Okay, fine. Uh, I still don't know what to do. I, I always, like, I, I love and hate this. That, like, uh, main date. That, like, it's just, like, keep doing everything you can, and eventually, like, you're gonna miss, you're, like, you're gonna miss the one thing. Uh, oops, no, I didn't do that. Whoopsie. <sighs> Excuse me. Let me see if there's a kid. It's it's young it's young uh, Jotaro Jostar, <laughs> Jotaro Kujo. <laughs> hey, hey, wait! I bet he came in right through that drain. Hey, I'm um, Kidio. What's your name, Sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Huh? But you you are a kid. What a rude little brat. It's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. Hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. Oh, she does have tears in her eyes when she makes that face. You gotta hand it to Maya, she's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody, Cody Hackett. Call me Kitty again, I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. Oh god, he's a Steel Samurai fanboy. What if I just do this? <laughs> don't look at him. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai. How dare you utter that name, evildoer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai's side. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't fool me. Okay, then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Huh, <laughs> easy. Like some fries with that? Hmm, huh, not bad, kiddio. Watch it. What are they doing? Being fan people. Say you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... He... He always... The Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Yeah, I saw him! I saw everything! What? But, but no one I'm telling you, losers! Wait! Let me go! He's gone. Huh. Something fell off the table and he bumped into it on his way out. Uh... A bottle? Why was it sitting there, I wonder? Empty bottle! Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Hmm. Are you still in here, you creepy bastard? Yes, you are. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna punch this guy's lights out. He makes me so uncomfortable. Never mind, there's nothing new I can get from you. God damn it. It really makes it so disconcerting that, like... There really is, it really is disconcerting that there's no background music for certain sections. I mean, it doesn't matter, but, you know. Huh? Where's that old windbag? Oliver to leave her post. Hey! Nick! That was her! S stop! Whip a snapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch! Uh-oh, she tripped. My, she looks happy. Well, now I'm just gonna go into the guard station and take that key. Hey! Hey, Nick! Now's our chance! Let's check out this guard station! Good idea. Oh! This is it, Nick! The trailer key! The key to that trailer in Studio 2. 
we'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Yes. And now we go. To Outside Studio 1, and then move to Outside Studio 2. Nice. Then we examine, and then we can just do this. I, I, like, the thing is, I, I typically don't play games like Phoenix Wright or, um, even like, uh... Professor Layton. I know the games are good. The art style is great. The art styles are almost timeless, in all honesty. But it's just like I hate puzzle games because I always miss that one thing that we need to do, and then I'll end up looking a walk up a walkthrough because I'm so impatient. But I do like the story behind the games. They're really good and well done. It's just I hate the getting the story part. I wonder if the key we bought from the guard station will work. It opened. Great! Let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, not that eager. Into the trailer! October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Who... are you? This is supposed to be a samurai flick, not L.A. Noir. Eek! Someone's in here. Names... Our names, we're WP's lawyers, and, um, I see. And who might you? D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. I wouldn't say that, personally. Not my type. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. Excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. Uh, script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss Vasquez? It's on TV. Every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV? The nerve of her! Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director. Sal Manella, was it? What uh, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick? Are all people in entertainment business this... Weird. Oh, she's crying! Don't cry, sweetie. It's okay. Dreams are meant to be broken. It's starting to look like that. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there somewhere else that we have to check? Yeah. Wait. Yes? If you see Manila, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I, I don't think I like her. <laughs> oh, little girl, no! <laughs> I want to give her a hug. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, we'll give it to him if we see him. Vasquez is Mamo. What if we present to her shit? I'm not interested. Well, fuck that. Looks like we're giving this to to Sal Manella. I guess his name is fitting because he's bacteria scum. Serves to die for even staring at Maya in a lewd in a lewd way. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna punch him in a square in his throat. Just like pop right in the throat. Oh god, I hate you already. Your face, your design. I guess it's meant to be uncomfortable. God, I hate you. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring the script for episode 13. Episode 13? Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Eh. Uh-oh. My eyes just plowed if I don't find it. Nick? It might be quicker just to look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Alright, so since they were practicing in Studio 1, I'm pretty sure that that's where it is. Oh, got it. If there's one thing I don't like about this game, it's how, it's, it's how things move. Because, like... Like, I wish there was just a, a one drop-down menu of everything in the studio. 
I guess it's for real for the sake of realism because it's like you have to go from place to place. But like it's it's just like confusing. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here. Quick, Nick. So it should be in here, right? Is that it? The little booklet over there? Hey! Look! There it's the chair the director sits in. I just want to sit in one of these. The director. Maya. Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Aha! Found it, Nick. The script. Good work. Alright, cool. And now we move. It looks like we're going to give this to uh, D. Vasquez. Is, is her name a reference too? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but I'm not sure what it is right now. Oh, gee. Hang on, guys. Ugh. Sorry about that, guys. My dog is breaking. But anyway, um, I think I'm gonna uh, leave off presenting the script to D. Vasquez next time. It's gonna be a whole. It's it's gonna be a whole conversation, and uh, it's gonna take. A, and I only have like a minute left in this recording. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me or from this series, hit that subscribe button. And you're not exiting the Shadyverse. My name is Shades, and I hope you've enjoyed your day in the shade. See you guys next time. Bye.